people welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video in this video i'll be predicting the middleweight bout between cedricus dumas versus josh Fremd in high season right here i'm going i'm gonna go high confidence um cedricus dumas I ain't going lock high confidence is a bit much for a guy in his debut but i like what i'm saying as far as this matchup so yeah going high confidence cedricus dumas not lock but high that's a good thing cedricus dumas versus Josh Frim, and I'm going high comes in Cedric Dumas to beat Josh Frim. But, um, yeah, Josh Frim, when you really look at it, both of his losses in the UFC have come via grappling of some sort. Trayshawn Gore, this muscle, um, force, muscle, what, like, guillotine, standing guillotine, choke, or whatever. Um, that was his first, it was last loss. And, um, one prior to that was, like, Anthony Hernandez just grappling him up for three rounds. And having the way with him. But he showed good heart in that one. So basically, I can't really throw anything good from the um, Trayshawn Gore fight. I mean, that's a very terrible loss. The Anthony Hernandez fight came in on short notice. And he got grappled up. But he didn't quit. It was like he kept getting taken down. And he managed to escape, reverse some position at times. But like, so he looked okay in that one, to an extent. Especially if he was a guy coming on short notice. Fight, facing, an already, an, facing an already established opponent. So that looked good for him in that sense. But then you kind of rebound on the Trayshawn Gore fight. It's like... Yeah, but then also when you look at that, all your only thing you could point to this guy that he has shown the ability that he can be tough. You don't put him out of there. So that's what you really really relying on is toughness. And then we look at what, what up? Why am I talking like this? Let me slow it down. Let me slow it down. I'm talking gibberish. But um, you really look at his resume is not all that good. But then again, neither, 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 both of these guys are entering the UFC, so none of their none of their like I'm saying none. Neither of their resumes are all that put together. But um. Yeah, I'm just going to make it simple. Like, I'm talking all this stuff to say all this, say all that. I see a pattern. Basically, grappling has been, overall, that's the key point that has been happening to him in his last two fights. And you got, um, what's his name? Cedricus Dumas, who does, you know, have a pretty decent grappling as well. And I feel he should have the grappling advantage. I think overall, he's the more polished, more well rounded fighter. And I definitely think he should have the advantage in the grappling situation. I also think he has a pretty solid guillotine and good, long, lanky frame. And I feel like Frim does leave that neck out there. And I feel like, Dumas can exploit that, especially coming there, you know, riding confidence, and then um, Frim not really coming in all on the most confidence, and also coming off a loss where he did get choked out, and then another fight where he did get grappled up. I feel like he's not coming gonna be in his best form. He's gonna try to come in, but it's not gonna be his best form. At least mentally, not gonna be in his best form. Dumas gonna be riding that steam, and he's gonna come in better. Like so, you got guys riding good steam and coming in motivated, coming better. He's seen you lose, just come off a loss where you got choked out. And I, he's going to be looking for that. Maybe Frim could do some 300 IQ and use that against him, but I don't think Frim is all that good. At least what level he's at. I just see a guy that has some potential. Ten, like, well, it's two guys with potential, but one guy is acting on it more. And other guy's coming in now, like I said, on that low confidence right now, coming on bad momentum. And I feel like the, all the momentum's on Dumas' side. I think overall he's the better fighter is it right now. And probably for... <laughs> For the continuum, but we'll see. But I gotta go. Um, I can't go any other way but Dumas, and can't go anywhere else but with good confidence. I get high confidence here. And I feel like he's gonna be the tap my first round. I feel like Frim's gonna try to you know let his hands go a bit, try to get out, get a bit going for himself. But I think the fight gonna settle in. I think um, Dumas is gonna find his groove and make um, and it's just really start to establish the grappling in this one. And once the grappling starts to come on, I feel like um, Dumas will have the advantages. Friend will just be on the you know the response of as he was with um Hernandez, trying to reverse position, trying to you know just trying to make an account for himself. But I think in that scramble, I think he's gonna get choked out. Like he gonna, I mean, I think um Dumas will find the neck, latch on, choke him out, maybe put him to sleep, maybe just get a tap. But either way, I feel like he's gonna find that neck in the scramble. Maybe um Frim trying to roll through or grab a single, stand the neck out there, and get choked first round. So in this one. I have Cedricus Dumas via first round submission.